So should one consider to become an owner operator with today's market? So we will show you a 15 day pay statement for a lease operator in our company. We're also gonna talk about some of the tax advantages of being an owner operator or a lease operator versus a company driver. And we're also going to show you the correct way of purchasing that truck. So when the time comes for you to purchase that truck, you don't make the same mistake that I've seen hundreds of people make. All this information is free on our channel. So at some point or another, you're gonna to come to the realization that paying taxes, a lot of taxes, is a <laughs> Here's a pay statement from one of our drivers. Now this is a pay statement from March 16th to March 31st. It's his pay stub. So it shows you what he's made until date and how much taxes he has paid. Now here you can see that he grossed out, the salary is $35,000, public holiday pay, bonus pay, vacation pay, reimbursements. Total pay is $42,000. Now until today, he has paid $12,857. By the end of the year, this driver is probably gonna make about $100,000 to $120,000 and he'll probably pay around Forty to forty-five thousand dollars in taxes. Yes, is there a smarter way to try to avoid paying all this and not getting a lot of the deductions that you're supposed to? For example, as a company driver, you are very limited on what you can claim. You can claim obviously your phone. You can claim your your meals and your lodging up to a certain amount, but that's really where you are capped. When you are an owner operator, you have so many more benefits and you can do so much more. A couple of things I'm going to talk about in this video is delaying paying taxes and that's building wealth within your corporation. Now I myself with such a high mileage driver, okay, and paying 35 to $40,000 or 40 to $45,000 a year in taxes, there's actually a much better way to do this. Being an owner operator might be a lot more profitable in the long run. What do I mean by that? There are a lot of tax advantages of being an owner operator. And I'll just name a few of them over here, like your cell phone that's going to be fully paid off. The food that you are paying is going to be fully written off. You know, your wife is making you meals or going to the superstore portion of that is going to you in the truck well that you're gonna be writing off the gas for your personal car because you're driving to and from work which is to your truck is gonna be written off a portion of that lease payment for your car is going to be written off a portion of the house because your wife is going to be doing you know some of the bookkeeping and the accounting for you a portion of that mortgage a portion of that I mean there's gonna be a home office well that's gonna be written off the interest paid on the truck the interest paid on the line of credit well that's all an expense and it's an expense within your corporation and you can take advantage so much of these corporations but you have to have a truck in order to do that either you are on a lease purchase program or you are an owner operator but at some point or another somebody's gonna sit down hopefully a good tax accountant is gonna sit down is going to explain all this to you that in order for you to have expenses you really need a corporation and a truck to be to do all this now also let's not forget the salary that you're paying yourself like for example today you're getting a hundred hundred twenty thousand dollars even if you're only spending forty fifty thousand dollars a year you're still paying taxes on the entire hundred or hundred and twenty where you have a corporation you can actually limit your salary you can actually only take out and pay taxes whatever you need the driver that takes hundred twenty thousand dollars as a salary pays a much higher tax bracket than a driver that pays forty or forty five thousand dollars for himself so you can withdraw forty forty five thousand dollars from that corporation you can keep the remaining inside that corporation and start building wealth within your corporation because let's not forget that you know the tax bracket of a corporation here in Canada you know is 13 and a half percent whereas you know in the US you know different states and different provinces they all have different tax brackets but at the end of the day holding money within your corporation is a lot more feasible than taking out the money on your personal side now building wealth and tax deferment is the name of the game you want to delay paying taxes legally as much as you can. Quickly, I'm just gonna go over a, a pay statement for a lease operator in our in ET Transport. Again, this can be a lease operator, this can be an owner operator. I just had access to a lease operator's pay. Now this is from March 16th to March 31st. These drivers, these drivers get paid on April 15th. So these payments just went out literally yesterday, okay? Now you can see the driver has driven 84, 43 miles. Now you ask yourself, how in the world did he do this? Well, March 
March, it actually has 31 days in it. So the drivers were able to drive a little bit more. And also in Canada, you're allowed to drive for 13 hours, where in the US, you're only a dry, allowed to drive for 11. 8,443 miles. When you have loaded trailers at both ends, it is doable. Some of you might say this is high, but also there was a bonus for the month of March. So this driver actually hit the bonus of $750. Now, let's look at how much he grossed out. This driver grossed out $13,087 for his mileage plus another 928 dollars on mileage pay now everybody here in canada is on mileage pay owner operators get paid per mile and then they get a fuel surcharge based on the fluctuation of fuel so you can see here that the driver gets another 11 cents on his 8443 miles which is a fuel surcharge so he grossed out 14766 dollars now our owner operators here in Canada, a lot of them, everything is included in their package. So their tolls, their bridges, their insurance, their plates, everything is included for an owner operator. So here is a holdback, $300 holdback, his truck lease that he's paying. So he, this guy is leasing a 2021 Cascadia. His, his semi-monthly payment is $1,428. That's with taxes. And then his disability insurance, his buy-down insurance, this is all for his own insurances. It's not the truck insurance. And then you have the fuel Canadian Fuel US and then you have some cash advance and the driver took into his corporation after he paid his truck $7,026. Now let's go back to that pay statement of the company driver. Okay, so this company driver also did 8,800 miles for the exact same time. So 8,806 miles is what this driver drove. Now let's have a look at his pay statement, okay, and see who took home more. So this driver for the mileage pay took home $5,298, his holiday pay was $555 so he did work on the holiday there was a long weekend in the second half of March here in Canada the mileage bonus both drivers hit the mileage bonus which is $750 I think here at ET Transport if you hit over 12,000 or 11,750 miles for the month of March you get $750 and then he gets his vacation pay all paid out so he grossed out $6,868 and then he took home $4,317 now you can see see that the payroll deductions was $2,500 payroll deductions. So he netted net take home pay after taxes, 4317. Now let's put these two side by side. One took into his corporation, $7,026. The other driver took home $4,300 into his personal. Now, if I was an owner operator, so from the $7,000, I would probably only take myself a salary of two or $2,500 every 15 days. And I would leave the other $4,500 inside that corporation because I'm trying to build wealth inside my corporation. Now, what you do with that money is already up to you whether you're gonna buy stocks whether you're gonna buy you know assets whether you want to buy a second home or a third home or a property but this is how you're going to achieve it now when you take out forty three hundred dollars I think we all know what happens when we all have access to this money in our personal bank accounts it all just goes away and it goes away fairly quickly now another thing where I see lots of people doing this wrong is the way that they purchase that truck and it drives me bananas all right guys there's the right way of purchasing a truck and a wrong way of purchasing a truck first of all before you purchase that truck number one is you open that corporation whether you're in Canada in the US you know in the state of Illinois Wisconsin Tennessee it doesn't matter where you are you open that corporation now you advance money from your personal you advance that money into your corporation so let's say you're buying a hundred thousand dollar truck you're putting a deposit of twenty five thousand dollars you will advance money from yourself into that corporation as a shareholder loan okay $25,000 into that corporation and then that corporation is the one buying the truck okay so once you have that corporation buying the truck now you're able to withdraw $25,000 tax-free from your corporation back to yourself remember very very important I see so many people doing this wrong and you have to do it right open the corporation advance money into your corporation then that corporation is the one buying the truck try to buy a truck that you are not personally liable for that the corporation is liable for it just to limit the liability that's the whole point of corporations to limit at that liability $25,000 will be as a down payment or a deposit the rest you get funding on the corporation is liable for it and you have monthly payments from that corporation again I'm not telling people to go under a lease purchase program I'm telling you that it is there's a lot of 
benefits of being an owner or operator. Well, now you got all the facts and I'd love to hear some opinions out there, okay? Wherever you are, whether you're in Canada, in the US, doesn't matter what state or province you are, tax brackets are around, you know, personal tax brackets are probably around 30 to 40% is what we are all paying on company drivers out there are currently paying right now. Now, you do have an opportunity to be an owner operator, a lease operator. I know a lot of the news out there is horrific about the freight rates and about how company drivers are doing right now or how owner operators are doing uh, and small fleets are doing right now which is not the greatest but with the cost of trucks being so low at some point or another you're going to be faced with this decision whether it's now whether it's in three months whether it's in four months in six months all you company drivers out there eventually you're probably going to want to own your own truck and i really want you guys to do this the right way so please understand that i am not a tax accountant okay so i have been working with tax accountants that specialize in truck drivers and owner operators so if you are in need feel free to reach out to me at sponsorship at ettransport.ca i'll be more than happy to make that introduction between yourselves and a reputable tax accountant out there both in canada and in the us so sometimes we just need the right guidance when we're going through a new phase in our life to become more successful, to become more knowledgeable, and hopefully learn something from this video. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next one.